We've all heard the praise for modern superhero games like LEGO Avengers, Arkham City, and Marvel Alliance, but there are plenty of underrated games that feature from the same compelling superhero elements. From the Super Nintendo to the PlayStation 1, it's time to relive superhero games that you need to play. Check out 10 underrated superhero video games everyone needs to play. But before you do that, click subscribe. You'll join our notification squad and be the first to know of any new content. Ultimate Spider-Man Spider-Man may have had more video game releases than any other superhero to date. There's a dozen or more various side-scrolling titles, games based off of various movies, and a number of releases featuring Spider-Man teaming up with other heroes. This makes it easy for some of the better games to get lost in the mix. If you love playing Spider-Man games, then it's important to check out the 2005 release entitled Ultimate Spider-Man. An open-world concept, cell shade design, and innovative gameplay all combine to create a fun gaming experience in the multi-console release. Based off a Marvel comic book series of the same name, the game is all style. Panel-styled animation makes it look like a living comic book, and the character designs feature great looks for characters like Peter Parker. All of that is paired with great character voices in a storyline that features a number of classic Spider-Man characters including Mary Jane, Venom, and the Green Goblin. The levels allow you to play as both Peter Parker and Spider-Man. There are small missions, large boss battles, and a lot of different city elements to explore. This is truly the ultimate Spider-Man game that stays true to its roots, represents a lot of classic story elements, and has great visual storytelling that stays true to the comic book it's based off of. Batman Chaos in Gotham Let's face it, if you were a proud owner of the Game Boy Color, then your cartridge slot was likely filled with Pokemon Silver and Pokemon Gold. This may have caused you to miss some of the other entertaining game titles, including one of many Batman games. One of the best was Batman Chaos in Gotham. The 2001 release is based off the new Batman Adventures animated series, which was a spin-off of the original Batman animated series and features characters like Robin and Nightwing. The game features familiar characters from the show like Batman, Batgirl, and the Riddler. The game is a side-scrolling action adventure where players take the role of Batman. The graphics are nothing to brag about, but the gameplay moves smoothly and Batman has plenty of controls to take down thugs and boss characters like the Joker and Catwoman. The simplified Batman music is fun to play along with, and levels are mixed up with overhead elements featuring the Batmobile or Batbike. Batman does a lot of hand-to-hand -hand combat, can climb obstacles and levels more vertically along with side-to-side -side action. This game is a lot better than other similar releases from the time, like Batman Gotham City Racer. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles have had a lot of success in the video game world. Console titles for the Nintendo and Super Nintendo have a special place in many gamers' hearts, and the animated Turtles were an arcade staple through the 1990s. Even though they've had some gaming duds, the franchise returned back to form with a 2003 release simply titled Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Played best on the Nintendo GameCube, the button-mashing platformer is based on the reboot series that premiered on Fox in the early 2000s. The character designs are well executed, camera angles are easy to follow, and the game features one simple concept, kill everything on screen. The game only gets better when more players are involved. Each turtle naturally features their own unique weapon and enhanced moves can be unlocked as you progress through the levels. Character voices guide players through the game and the lively sound effects help bring the action to life. Along with the great designs, the game mixes in actual footage from the series. It helps build on the plot and create an immersive gaming experience. Before you continue to get disappointed with some of the modern TMNT games, give this classic a try and see just how much fun you can have playing as the Ninja Turtles. Blade Out of all the Marvel superheroes, Blade is probably one of the more underrated ones. After the Blade trilogy found a lot of success, the hero has been ignored in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Not only is he lost in the Marvel movies, but many fans have not had a chance to play the Blade video game. Released on the PlayStation 1 in the year 2000, Blade features pretty good graphics for the time and follows the movie's plot as a third-person shooter. Playing as the title character of Blade, you can hunt down vampires and make your way through some pretty sophisticated level designs. Blade can amass a number of different weapons, including a variety of guns and swords. The blood splatter looks great when characters are killed off, and the game presents a lot of challenges without making it too difficult. Each level features a different vampire house that Blade must navigate as he avoids enemies and struts through like only Wesley Snipes could. Unlike a lot of other third-person shooters, the camera angles are no issue, as it seamlessly follows Blade around and levels could be easily navigated as needed. Along with vampires, Blade does battle with zombies, monster dogs, and 
and the main leaders of vampire houses. Venom Spider-Man – Separation Anxiety Both Spider-Man and Venom have had their fair share of battles and instances where they were forced to team up. One of their greatest tag team ventures was in the Sega Genesis game Venom Spider-Man – Separation Anxiety. Don't let the strange title fool you, the game is a fun romp to play and features a lot of classic Spider-Man action. What many fans don't know is that Separation Anxiety is actually a sequel to Spider-Man and Venom – Maximum Carnage. The first title was a big hit for the Genesis console that fans still love to play today. The sequel delivers much of the same action as the odd couple duo can team up on the screen and do battle together against a bunch of villains. For fans of the comic books, you can follow the same storyline featured in the Venom comic book miniseries entitled Lethal Protector. Not only can you button mash your way through thugs and bosses, but other superheroes like Captain America, Thor, and Hawkeye all make appearances in the game. They offer a little extra variety and a nice expanded look at the Marvel Universe. This game is a great way to continue the fun of Maximum Carnage with new level designs and challenges to take on. The Punisher If you enjoyed classic Marvel arcade games, then you likely spent your quarters playing the cabinet based off of X-Men the Animated Series. While the dual monitor X-Men got all the praise, you should have saved some of your quarters for the Punisher arcade game. The Punisher game showcases the origin story of Frank Castle, the brutal murder of his family, and his desire to seek vengeance as he transforms into the Punisher. The game follows similar play modes like the Simpsons arcade game, X-Men, and other arcade classics. The animation is smooth, vivid, and the Punisher has a variety of powerful moves that he uses to destroy his enemies. Along with hand-to-hand -hand combat, the Punisher relies on guns and other weapons to shoot enemies from afar. You can collect power-ups, money bags, and other items to help improve your character and progress through levels. The game is open to two players, allowing you to take control of the eye-patched Nick Fury. All of the button-mashing and vengeful action leads to a huge boss battle with the massive Kingpin. While it may have ate your quarters in the past, you can easily find emulators to enjoy the game today. Superman Returns – The Game there's the original Christopher Reeve Superman franchise, the Henry Cavill modern era, and the lone entry of Superman Returns shoved between. While many fans have written off Superman Returns as a forgotten film, the game based off of it should be remembered. Released in 2006, it was one of the early titles for next-generation consoles like the Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3. One of the most impressive parts of the game is the open sandbox world that Superman can explore. Metropolis is yours for the taking as Superman flies, runs with super speed, and protects all of the citizens below. Don't get caught up in the game skipping past events from the film. That's not the point. Superman has all of his powers, and you can use them at your leisure to pick up random objects, go on side missions, and defeat all kinds of villains, including Lex Luthor. Superman even has the chance to do battle with Mother Nature as he takes on asteroids in an epic tornado near the climax of the game. It's hard enough to make a Superman game, but this one succeeded on many levels and didn't get the praise that it deserved. Whatever you do, don't get this one mixed up with the Superman for the Nintendo 64. That game is still awful. X-Men – Game Master's Legacy for those who had a Sega Game Gear that actually worked and had a battery last for longer than an hour, you probably got the chance to explore a large library of great games. For others, you probably missed out on a great X-Men title like the Game Master's Legacy. Released in 1995, the side-scrolling adventure was special and unique for the large number of X-Men that were available to play with. Along with staples like Wolverine and Storm, you can defeat enemies with the likes of Gambit, Cyclops, and Rogue. The levels feature a number of challenges, and the variety of X-Men available add a lot of replay value to the game. The music and character designs are based directly off the animated series, adding a fun nostalgic touch for anyone who watched the show. The boss battles are one of the biggest highlights in Game Master's Legacy. You can go one-on-one -on -one against a who's who of X-Men baddies including Apocalypse, Strife, and Mr. Sinister. The goal of the game is to find a cure to a virus that is eliminating all of the mutant powers in the world. This sets up a fun plot with good graphics considering it was made for the handheld Game Gear. Marvel Super Heroes in War of the Gems Right now, Marvel fans are witnessing the ever-growing saga of the Infinity Stones and Thanos' quest to obtain them all for universal domination. If you're a fan of this story, then you can live out the whole thing through Marvel superheroes in War of the Gems. This action-packed side-scrolling game teams up a great collection of Marvel heroes as they attempt to obtain all the gems and use them for good. The Super Nintendo game features a who's who of Marvel heroes. This includes the Hulk, Iron Man, Captain America, Spider-Man, and Wolverine. 
each hero uses their special powers and abilities to get through levels. In a training mode, you can play a Mortal Kombat-style battle against Marvel villains like Doctor Doom using any one of the heroes. It's a great way to learn character moves and adds a lot to the game. The levels take the players all around the world, and even into outer space. The Brazil level includes a river expedition where the heroes battle water monsters and zombie-like creatures. It adds a lot of diversity to the game and prevents it from becoming too repetitive. The heroes retain damage, increasing the difficulty in the game and forcing players to use a mix of heroes to successfully win. Batman Arkham Origins if you're in the mood to play a Batman video game, then other gamers will likely recommend Arkham Asylum, Arkham City, or Arkham Knight. While that trilogy of games is nearly perfect, too often fans ignore the spin-off game in the series known as Batman Arkham Origins. The prequel title features a different tone and gameplay than the others, but has a lot of redeeming qualities. The cinematics alone are worth watching and taking in like a whole extra Batman movie. You get to see a younger Batman that doesn't have as much experience and is still learning the ropes a little bit. Train, build your arsenal, and expand your combat as you get through each level. One area that really makes Arkham Origins shine is the story. Origin stories tend to be boring and predictable, but this is not the case here. The Black Mask is the central villain of the story, but there are multiple twists that shake up Batman's world. This includes confrontations with his most infamous foe, the Joker. Along with the Clown Prince of Darkness, Deathstroke and Bane create two of the best boss battles in the whole series. Seriously. As you play through the Batman Arkham series, it's important to give Arkham Origins a fair shake. You will not be disappointed. The game is even a great option to play as your first Arkham game. Which of these games do you think is the most underrated? Are there any that we missed? Which ones do you plan on playing? Don't forget to like this video, share it, and subscribe to The Gamer on YouTube so you can stay up to date with our awesome videos. Keep gaming!